Our project is called Get Out of Your Single Story. We want to examine how an individual's perception can be changed, and in return, how their global perception can shrink. Personally, I'm thankful for all the experiences I've had at UC, and I feel like we're very fortunate to have these experiences with different people. And we're gonna get, take a look at uh, some of the diversity that we have at our school and how it's affected their lives and the outlook they have uh, being connected to different people at our school. So let's hear about these personal testimonies. All right, this is Alex, and I'm just gonna ask him a few questions. Uh, Alex, since leaving Serbia, how long have you lived in the States? Uh, for the last six years. I came here for my senior year of high school. I attended the high school here in Huntington, West Virginia. Then for my freshman year of college, I went to a college in uh, New York City. For the past three years, I've been here at the uh, University of Charleston. Uh, I would say that while I was being here at high school, I didn't experience that much diversity. But once I entered university education, I met a lot of different cultures, people of different religions. I learned to speak a couple of different, couple of different words in a lot of languages. And altogether, I would say that uh, it was a great experience and it made me realize how small the world is. And throughout your experience, obviously at UC, like you said, there is uh, plenty of diversity here. Is there any uh, certain uh, experiences that you had that made you think, well, a lot of us are alike? Yeah, I would definitely say that music, movies, all the you know, social media connects us in so many ways that we don't even realize that. And as many people say, I, 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 while being at UC, I realized how true the, the meaning of the word global village really is. I'm from Bogota, Colombia. Uh, even though we're in a state that doesn't have that many internationals, uh, UC has a lot of diversity in, on campus, which I think is really cool. Um, has compared, like, I've been exposed to different religions, different languages. The thing with the time, like, I came straight to a culture that is very on time and stuff like. I hear because it's a smaller city, there's a lot of more things to do in the community, so like, there's more people volunteering and stuff like that. So, um, obviously, you're a member of the women's tennis team. Has some of your experiences on the tennis team? Uh, exposed you to feel more connected to people that are different from you? Yes, definitely. Well, only in my team there's six girls that are from all over the world. Like, there's a girl from New Zealand, there's one from Belgium, um, there's one from Romania, one from Brazil. And, yeah, definitely because we all have different, I don't know, like cultural backgrounds, different, like, costumes. For example, I hug a lot of people. Um, the girls that I knew from Europe, they think Americans talk a lot. For me, Americans are, are cold sometimes. So that's been kind of interesting. Like, definitely, yeah, it has exposed me to a lot of more different backgrounds, I guess. Do you feel like the globe feels somewhat smaller from your experiences here at UC? Yeah, definitely. You definitely feel more connected to other people, and then you realize that um, even though it's like we all have our differences, we are all similar in a lot of things that we never thought about. So. Hi everyone, this is Nikki and Caroline and they're going to answer a few questions for us. The first one is, when you moved here, did it seem like your world became smaller? I think my perception of that is when I came over here, it, personally, it meant that the, my world got bigger. I suddenly was able to see that I could get to different places and I could, there was no nothing stopping me from moving from one continent to the next. Um, but in terms of a global perspective, yes, it made the, the world seem a whole lot smaller because suddenly it meant that the different aspects could get to each other and I could communicate from one continent to another, which, which most people growing up don't even think is possible. Ask us, do you feel that American students are less culturally aware than students of different nationalities? Yes. Um, I don't think it's necessarily based on um, an ignorance thing because that's straight away what people think. I think it's more based on exactly what Caroline brought up a little while ago. Because America is so big, American students and American youth tend to travel within America. They don't tend to travel internationally as much as, say, our two countries. I know it was very easy from South Africa, and I know when I lived in Britain, it was the same way. Extremely easy to travel outside of your country. Okay. okay. How has your perception changed since you've been here? There are things that you suddenly see as very different from what you've had before. 
So when you come over, wording is different. So so things to me that went, meant one thing in South Africa meant something very incredibly different when it when it came to America. Um, I've mentioned the concept of you know peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so simple, so easy, but but the word jelly in South Africa is what Americans actually term Jello, and so for me it was very hard growing up trying to understand the concept of how anyone was able to eat a peanut butter but peanut butter and jello sandwich and how the jello didn't slide off or fall off or create a bit of a disaster. Um, I think um, for myself, the my perception has changed so much when I first came to the States. I, I experienced culture shock. Um, the food is different. Um, the people too. Like I know my perception of African American people where I haven't I probably like, saw maybe two black people in my life before I came to the States I'm from a small, from a small village and my pers my opinion of them I guess was that they were bad and they did drugs so when I came to the States and I saw the football team I was so shocked I was like wow and I kind of felt for the first time like it became like intimidating to me but now I just I come from an environment which is very racist um, and I see myself now how much I've grown. I've grown to love a person for who they are and not their skin colour, whereas I see a lot of my friends back home and they'll automatically judge you or you won't be allowed in the village just because of your skin colour or um, who you are or maybe who you support, things like that. So my perception is different. After listening to these personal testimonies, it made me reflect on my own experience. And coming from Boone County, West Virginia, 98% of our county is white. So I'm very thankful that UC has given me the opportunity to have a diverse cultural background. With UC representing 41 countries and 135 different international students, we have the opportunity to expand our single story. And this can be done through education and a willingness to learn.